Have you noticed that when you hear native North American speakers say this word, it sounds a little different. Something is noticeably missing, <laughs> but you can't quite put your finger on it. I'm here to explain this word and dissect it so that you know what to do. And then we get to practice and get really, really good at it. And that way you can use it in your daily life every day in a very natural, fluent way. So let's get right to it. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm a speech language pathologist and English pronunciation coach, but enough about me. Let's learn about this word. The main issue with this word is the spelling is nothing like it's pronounced. So when you see those letters all strung together, I want you to imagine that the O and U are gone. So we're going to start this word with fave. Okay, that's likely how you've already pronounced the beginning of this word. So that shouldn't be different, but just be aware the V is voiced. Mm. Fave. Typically, people will add a bit of a uh in here or oh, favo or fava. Just imagine there's nothing there. And we're going to go to rit. Now this would not be your typical spelling. If you see R-I-T-E, it's typically right with a diphthong I. But in this case, it's different. That's why it's a tricky word. <laughs> so think of it like eh, 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 as an igloo. Favorite, favorite. Now I didn't say the O or any sound in the middle, no vowel sound, just the two. Favorite. Mm -hmm. Let's put them closer. Favorite. And together. Favorite. Favorite. The issue generally is the V to the R. When you produce a V to an R, ver, 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 the transition from a V to an R immediately just naturally creates a bit of a, a vowel sound. So you don't have to add one in, it just happens. V, er, ver, ver. So don't add an additional vowel, just let V and R create its own transition. Okay, let's practice this word in some phrases. And you're going to want to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to share so much amazing information and give you the wickedest practice you could imagine. So let's get right to it. You're my favorite, favorite. That's my favorite movie. These are my favorite jeans. That's my favorite book. That's his favorite song. Let's go to our favorite restaurant. Oh, that's my favorite dessert. So now you understand that there are only two syllables, favorite, and you can throw away the OU. If you're looking for additional English pronunciation tips, you can go to my website where you'll see a book, an audiobook, a course in coaching. You'll also see lots of really great information on this channel. So stick around and watch the next video. And I will share with you a ton of English pronunciation tips to get you feeling clear and confident when you're speaking English. I'll see you there.